this video, I'm going to discuss uh, hypothesis testing and this will be the introduction on hypothesis testing. So, a hypothesis is a statement or a tentative theory that may or may not be true. But it is initially assumed to be true until new evidence suggests otherwise. An example of a hypothesis is it will rain today. It is based from our preliminary observation or it can be based from our preliminary observation like in the past few days it rained. Okay? Or it can also be based from our previous experience like uh, on the past year this June or June is the start of rainy season. That is why we are assuming that since it is June today, it will rain today. Now, it may be true or it may not be true. Okay? And this hypothesis of us is initially assumed to be true. Okay? Unless we have proven that it will not rain today. So, types of hypothesis, the first one is the null and the second one is alternative. And these two are opposites. The null hypothesis is denoted by H sub 0 and it is the hypothesis of no difference and usually formulated for the purpose of being rejected. And the alternative hypothesis is denoted by H sub A or H sub 1. And this is the hypothesis that contradicts the null hypothesis. Now, if the null hypothesis is rejected, the alternative hypothesis is being supported. And the alternative hypothesis is the operational statement of the experimenter's research hypothesis. And we have here types of errors. Type 1 error is usually committed if the null hypothesis is rejected when the null hypothesis is true. Say, for example, uh, you are committing type 1 error if you are saying that it will not rain today but actually it will rain today. Okay? You are not accepting it as a fact. While in truth, it will rain today or it is true that it will rain today. Now, what is a type 2 error? Usually committed if the null hypothesis is accepted when the null hypothesis is false. Okay, so this one is like we are assuming that it will rain today or we can commit this type of error if we are assuming that it will rain today when in fact it will not rain today. Okay, by the way, I named these two. Uh, the first one, the type 1 error is I named it uh, in denial because we are denying the fact that it will rain today while number 2 or type 2 error is what I called uh, assuming because we are accepting we are assuming that it is true while in fact it is not true okay when will our decision be correct? When we accept that it will rain today, say the null hypothesis is it will rain today, when it is actually true. You are accepting what is true and you are denying or you are rejecting what is false. Say it will not rain today. So you are not going to believe the hypothesis that it will rain today. So we are go we are rejecting the statement that it will rain today when it is actually false. One-sided test and two-sided test, these are the types of tests. In one-sided test, the null hypothesis or sorry, the alternative hypothesis specify that the unknown population parameter is entirely above or entirely below the specified value of the null hypothesis. It is called one-tail test or directional test. In two-sided test, the null hypothesis or the alternative hypothesis rather 
specify that the unknown population parameter can lie on either side of the value specified by another hypothesis. And it is called two-tailed or non-directional test. Okay, so these are some examples of one-sided tests for the alternative and null hypothesis of one-sided test and two-sided test. So we have here uh, the null hypothesis as mu equals 100 and the alternative hypothesis is mu is less than 100. On the other side, we have mu is greater than 100. So it tells us that if we have this less than or greater than on our alternative hypothesis, most likely our test is a one-sided test. And if we use e not equal in our alternative hypothesis, that is one, that is a two-sided test. So we have here the level of significance. What is the level of significance? The level of significance alpha, okay, denoted by alpha, is the probability of committing type 1 error. What is type 1 error again? It is in denial. Okay? We are uh, rejecting the null hypothesis when, act when it is actually true. And the probability of committing type 2 error is denoted by beta. And this one is the level of confidence. And it is, or it tells us, or the type 2 error is assuming. In other words, we are uh, accepting the null hypothesis or we are not rejecting the null hypothesis when it is actually false. So the critical region, the set of all values of the test statistic that would cause to reject the null hypothesis. In this case, in this illustration rather, on the right, you can see the black part which is the rejection region. And if the value of Z falls on that rejection region, we are going to reject the null hypothesis. And if it does not fall to the rejection region, we are not going to reject the null hypothesis. Okay, there are basic steps in hypothesis testing. The first one is state the null and alternative hypothesis. That is the first and foremost thing to do in hypothesis testing. And the second one is specify the level of significance alpha and the sample size n. In most cases, it is given. We are, we are also to identify the test statistic that we are going to use. And we have to determine the critical region and state the decision rule. We are also to compute the test statistic for a sample size and, and for the last, the decision making or the conclusion.